Hello, so today we're going to talk about how to dissect the muscles. I am not going to be going over any particular muscles. For that, you should check out my online resources muscle page. So for this one here, we're just going to talk about some generic like strategies for how to get these muscles dissected. So the first thing I wanted to point out is the word dissect means to separate it does not mean to cut. So we are not going to be cutting any of the muscles with the exception of reflecting the sartorius and also in the very back here. Okay, so no cutting. Okay, so what we are gonna do though is if you look at it right here, notice that our specimen, this is a mink, has already been skin, so their skin is gone, but there's still a little bit of the hypodermis still stuck on it. Anytime you see this yellow structure here, this yellow just means fat, and if you feel the fat, you'll notice that it's very soft, and so it definitely has a different texture than the muscle. The muscle's meat, so if you have any familiarity with meat like that you eat, that's what it's like. Okay, so the very first thing that you need to do before you can start your muscles is to remove all of the fat tissue, all the loose adipose connective tissue from the surface, and then to break through all of the fascia, which is the epimysium, okay, the connective tissue that surrounds and protects those skeletal muscles. Okay, so you need to clean the surface first, and the good news is that the mink is actually pretty, pretty has low fat on it, especially in comparison to a lot of the cats, and so that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so the tools that I like to use are the forceps. This is the forceps, just, you know, tweezers, and the fine scissors here, and the blunt probe here. Okay, so you really shouldn't be cutting, so you probably will not be using your, your coarse scissors, these are coarse scissors, the big ones, until you're opening the ventral cavity. Okay, so for the muscles, you want to stick to just these tools here, and don't forget, your fingers are tools as well. Okay, so I get, so when you're pulling on it, you want to kind of pull up on the fat tissue. The fat tissue is going to be really soft, and so it should come off fairly easily. Let me show you some technique. Okay, so see this right here? This is the, this is the fine scissors. Okay, the small scissors have a really sharp point on them. And again, I'm not going to be using these to cut anything. I'm going to be using these to what I call do stick and spread. Okay, so you're going to stick it into the fat tissue right above the muscle. Don't poke the muscle itself. And then you're just going to open them up and that's going to help spread things off of the tissue. And then you can kind of snip off the extra as it comes up. Okay, so you're just going to kind of start at an edge and just sort of gently peel it back and you'll notice that you get a lot of kind of white spidery connective tissue here, all of that is going to be taken off, okay? So you just do stick and spread, remove it from the surface. Once you get a nice, you know, good amount and you're sure there's no muscle in it, that's important. These muscles are very, very thin, so it's easy to cut them off accidentally. Once you're sure there's no muscles in it, then you can kind of snip off the piece. But for the most part, you're just going to peel it off, not cut it off. We're not cutting off the fat. We're peeling it off. Okay? So you just start cleaning it up. Okay? Notice that the, that, remember that the muscles are organized into fascicles. So skeletal muscle has fascicles, which are the bundles of the muscle fibers, the cells. And so those fascicles, because they are bundled, they create they create organization and that creates these stripes, okay? So when you look at the muscle, the muscle will have stripes here, okay? So you want to kind of make sure that you see those stripes when you're dissecting. Okay, stick and spread. Another technique is to use your blunt probe and you can pull up on the fat and just start breaking the connective tissue fibers as you peel it back. So what I like to do is I think of this sort of like sculpting, right? I, I, I have an image in my head of what it's going to look like 
That's why you especially want to make sure that you have your dissection manual. Here's the dissection manual. Make sure that you have that in place. And if, if you know what it looks like, you can you just sort of keep sculpting until it looks like that thing. Okay, so again, stick and spread. Stick, spread it open like this. Remember, you're peeling off the fat. And if you, for the fat, you should, you should be able to kind of spread it apart until it's pretty much nothing. And then once you're sure there's no muscle in there, because it has a different texture, then you can just take off that fat. Okay. So the next thing is, once you have cleared off the fat, the next thing you need to do is separate the muscle. So remember, we're not just cleaning the surface. That's step one. Step two is to separate the muscles from each other. Okay, so not just the surface, but also getting them separated from all of the other ones. Okay, so if you look carefully right here, this right here, this is this is the pectoralis major, and I know that it's small, but it's still the major. That's just the opposite for minx. And if you look carefully, there's a white line. That is the separation. Now, just as a reminder, almost all of the muscles that you will be dissecting will be very, very thin. So you're not gonna go cutting down into the muscle. It's really like peeling it off, right? So you've got very, two very, very thin sheets of muscle and you're just peeling them off of each other. Okay, so here we have the mink muscle. Now I find that for the chest muscles, they tend to be looser in the, the armpit area, the axillary area. And so what I like to do is start on, the, start on this side of it, because remember you want to dissect from origin to insertion, the full way across. And then once you get a little space in there, you can switch and just start breaking them apart from each other. Now go slow. Remember, you don't want to rush this because if you rip your muscle, then you can't put it back together. There's no sewing involved. Okay, so just sort of gently peel. So see how I'm opening it like this to kind of pry it open instead of, instead of cutting? So again, no cutting. And I want to go all the way from, from here Okay, which is all the way into the insertion point from origin to insertion origin to insertion just separating those two muscles try to get some space in there all the way along this white line okay and if you have any fat on the surface you want to peel that off of there okay i like to use my forceps and just sort of pick at them i find that if you just sort of do a whole bunch of little picks and then get a paper towel and wipe it off, you're gonna, that's a good way to clean off the surface. Because you need to get all that fat off of there before you can find the boundaries of your muscles. Okay, so again, this muscle here, there's the boundary point right there. See the white line? Just gonna stick and spread all the way through. Okay, and don't forget to get it on the other side as well. This right here, this is a different muscle. Okay, so we need to, we need to separate that one as well. I'm gonna clean the surface off a little bit more. Then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with this one. I'm gonna peel this one up off of the, the, that first one. So it's very important that you have your lab manual open at the same time so that you can see what the pictures look like, right? You need to know what the muscle looks like so you can figure out what shape it should be. Okay, so here's the strap of this muscle here. I'm going to peel that one up and peel this one down. And 
and you notice I'm going a little bit quick because that's what I, I you know I know what it should look like already you don't so you make sure you go slow So you see how I can put my finger all the way along the full length of the muscle. 